If someone suddenly collapses and isn't breathing normally, whether from cardiac arrest, drowning, or drug overdose, they may need CPR. Hi, I'm Zach Cantor, a paramedic educator for the Regional Paramedic Program for Eastern Ontario. Starting CPR can feel intimidating, but it is a lot simpler than you might think, and acting quickly can make all the difference. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do hands-only CPR. That's CPR where you use chest compressions only without any rescue breaths. This is the easiest method for someone without first aid training, and it's the fastest way to start helping immediately and possibly save a life. Let's walk through these steps together. First, make sure the scene is safe for you to approach. Tap their shoulders and shout, are you okay? If there's no response, check if they're breathing normally. Tilt their head back to open the airway, then look for chest movement, listen for breathing, and feel for air on your cheek. Not breathing normally means they're not breathing at all, or they're only gasping, breathing irregularly, or making strange noises. Call 911 right away, or have someone nearby call and start your hands-only CPR immediately. Place the heel of one hand on the center of their chest with your other hand on top. Lock your elbows and position yourself so your shoulders are directly over your hands. Push hard and push fast, about five centimeters deep at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. That's about two compressions every second. Make sure you let the chest rise fully between compressions. Keep going without stopping until emergency responders arrive or the person starts breathing normally or they become conscious again. If there's an automated external defibrillator or an AED nearby, turn it on and follow the prompts. It will guide you through what to do, including when to start CPR again. Remember, you won't make things worse by trying, but you could save someone's life by starting hands-only CPR right away. To be prepared for other emergencies, be sure to watch the rest of our first aid series.